Did you know? Know what? What, what now? Did you know that St. Clair's Grammar School is 60 years next to? Yes! yes! So let's wish her a happy 60 years. Happy, happy anniversary, St. Clair's! It's coming up on January 20th and 21st. January 2023. Have you heard? Heard what? I give up already. Third again. Have you heard who is coming to celebrate with us? Ooh. Ooh. The few minutes of Kwara State University. Welcome, Welcome Team Kwasu. <laughs> The program starts today, Wednesday, with an opening ceremony. Our principal gave the opening remark before the team leader from the Department of Performing Art and Film Production declared the documentary workshop open. As soon as the workshop ceremony was over, the workshop began in earnest. We were divided into two groups, A and B. Members of Group B, on the other hand, were charged with the responsibility of producing and editing the documentary you're watching right now. We started by discussing what a documentary is and what our short documentary will focus on. Then we are taught how to use camera and sound recorder to produce an audio-visual documentary like the one you're watching right now. Afterward, an audition was aired for who would become the narrator. Obviously, I was the best as I was choosing to be the narrator. I asked one participant from Group A to tell me what she has learned during the course of the workshop. I really enjoyed the workshop. It was, I think it is one of the best things I ever done in this school. It was so much fun. I also asked a participant from Group B to share her view with me about what she has learned about the workshop. Oh my God, the workshop was fun and so educative. I learned that the purpose of documentary is to educate and inform. I think I want to become a documentary filmmaker now after this workshop. Lastly, this is what our principal said about the workshop and the anniversary when I put a few questions to her. I've said it earlier that I really appreciate the, the caliber people from Kwara State University, Kwasu. In fact, we are really doing a marvelous work. And I really appreciate you even for cutting it worthy to choose uh, St. Clair's as one of the schools for your documentary. We really appreciate the timber and caliber of people that visited the school for this documentary. Please, I want to appeal to you people, you should make it a yearly program or quarterly pro uh, program and visit majority of the schools in Quara State so that people will be able to develop their talents in the future, not relying only on uh, this uh, um, academic work alone. Uh, that day is, is going to be glorious. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, it's more or less the coming together of the old students. The old students and the present uh, students just to have an interactive section. Then we meet together, we chat. There are, there are many. I will just mention a few. One, we have the uh, the present uh, executive chairman of federal uh, character in person of uh, Muibat Farida Dankaka. In fact, she's our confidence, a dynamic and amiable uh, old student. All, all the new projects you see was carried out by him without even collecting any cover from the school. And we give uh, kudos to uh, Chief Mrs. Fola Shade Omoni, the current uh, Kwara State Inland uh, Revenue Services is also a very contributing and a mother to the school. He was the one that brought the, uh, the computer. My name is Shade Omoni, me Yusuf. Now we're talking about old girls because when I was in school, nobody knows me as or knew me as Shade 
Omoni. I finished from St. Clair's Anglican Girls Grammar School in 1982. Now, to your question, what I remember very well, my first test when I joined the school, our principal then was late Chief Mrs. Felicia Omoyeni Bilu, the mother of the current head of service for Kwara State. She was our principal. So the very first test that we did, I got 96% in mathematics, and uh, she heard about it and called me up to the assembly and lambasted all the seniors who didn't like mathematics. Of course, when I got back to the hostel, I, they punished me like <laughs> <laughs> this business. For a nine-year-old girl, not yet 10, that remains something I will never forget. I joined the school at, I was just nine and a half years old. When I joined St. Clair's, I was one of the youngest in my set. I wasn't the youngest, but well, I was the smallest in size. They used to call me Oma Alasho Baka Tabo. Because uh, while we were all paying the same amount for the uniform, there was an auntie who was very tall. She needed more materials for her. And they used to take from my own to make up. So everybody knew that just one and, one and a half yards would be enough for my uniform. So I was very, very small. I am an engineer by profession. So being good in maths brought me this far. And um, I have been in the engineering profession since that time. So the base that I got in school, as far as mathematics is concerned, has helped me in no small measure to where I am today. So I appreciate the fact that my teachers believe so much in me. My principal, late Mrs. Pelo, believed so much in me. And I carried that flag even after I left school. And uh, aside that, I had a good school experience. I had friends who were, uh, were like sisters, especially in my own set. Everybody knows about 1982 set in the old girls uh, crowd, as far as the school is concerned. We have stayed together even after leaving school 40 years ago. We've lost some of us, but we have remained together. And we value that so much. We're all over the world, but we always find time to come together. So for me, major thing I have taken away from school is that bond, bonding and that sisterhood, especially with girls of my set. Then we have uh, the present uh, uh, Chief Judge of uh, Court of Appeal at Ibada, uh, Shade Ojo Ne Adishino. Then the present Head of Service in Kwara State, uh, Suzanne Oluwole, is a product of the school too and Professor Medina Shuaib. The current VC of FUTA of FUTA is a product of this school too. My name is Zomalara Ojulari Niowokunle, and uh, I'm the Director of Accounts and Finance, Kwara State Internal Revenue Service. Yeah, I'm an old girl of St. Clair's, proudly old girl, you know. St. Clair's is one place that uh, I would say you can't forget. We had a lot of uh, a lot of interesting, you know, activities when we were in school. I remember those days during entire sport is always fun fair, and then we have social gardening every Saturday night. Um, my name is Dr. Christiana Oluwa. I graduated two thousand, and we are the four sets. Because of the friends I had, they 
were all, we all have focus, we all have dreams, and we don't see a dream anywhere, like you look where all that dream is a very good one, so, and uh, my, the uh, head get there, the Emilate, as the boy, she's also been very good, and many others. Yeah, um, I always tell them that a woman without education is nothing. When we get to it, I always mention their names, that you should copy them, they should be their mentor. These people, I'm telling you, they've gone so far and they are doing well in their choosing a profession. So you should, you should look at them as your mentor so that they too will be able to achieve something in life. They should not rely on men. That they should try and work hard. They should buckle down to their work instead of looking, to, uh, looking for uh, assistance from somewhere. So we give glory to the Almighty because I always tell them on the assembly ground. And Yoruba uh, I will just advise them to focus on their studies Time to do a lot of things will come later. Social media is good as long as you use the benefits out of it and not for all the other mundane stuff. So I would just advise them to focus on the academics. I want to let them know that it is always good to be focused on whatever they are doing. The, the attitude of I can't, we don't understand that in St. Clair's. It is I can they need to be ambitious, they need to focus, and lastly, they need to ensure that they keep in touch with one another. I want them to have focus and believe that they can be somebody in life, even as a female child. There we have it. We are grateful to our principal for giving us the opportunity to experience the joy of documentary filmmaking. And on behalf of all the students of this great school, I say a very big thank you to the team from Performing Arts and Film Production, Kwasu, for this experience of a lifetime. Thanks for watching our documentary. God bless you all. Once again, happy 60th anniversary, St. Clair's.